on the prowl. Today we are at Chris Kelson Pool where the men's water polo team is going to show me a little bit about their sport. So let's take a look and see what they have to show me. Let's go. Hey man, who's that cat coming down the street? I don't know, but it sounds to me like that whipping man with the bone. Sure having himself a ball. Bartlett, senior from Porterville, California, and I'm a center. My name's Grant Hollis, and I'm a center, a fifth year senior from Redlands, California. David Andrews, fifth year senior from Houston, Texas, goalie. Joey Rossi, senior, attacker from Sears, California. If she can pick up the egg beater, she won't do too bad. If she doesn't pick up the egg beater, I'm not so confident. Uh, I don't know if she was an athlete in high school or anything like that, but water sports are a lot different than land sports, so I think she's probably going to sink. That's about it. It's a lot like basketball in the front court, where you kind of create an umbrella around your center, and you're working for a lot for the person that's in the post, that's closest to the, to the goal or the basket. Um, and the counterattack is similar to soccer, where you try to work the ball down the outside and then cross it in for a quick catch and shoot. You can do whatever you want to do to move the ball down the pool, except you can't use two hands. The most common way to do it is actually put the ball in front of your face while you're swimming, and you use the wake you create with your arms to actually keep the ball right in front of you as you move down the pool. The most important aspect of passing is your base. you got to have strong legs if you want to make a good pass. You want to get up about chest high out of the water, having that ball directly behind your head, and you follow through in one single motion, arm going straight forward, using your abs as much as you can. That'll give you the best velocity and the best accuracy for your pass. The most important part of shooting is your base, and your offhand, you use it to stabilize you. But the next most important thing is your pump fake. You want to fake the goalie out to think that you're going to shoot when you're really not. And so you catch them off guard when you shoot. So that's probably the most important thing. Make sure you go the jug. It's actually improved your leg strength. Depending on how strong you are, you can pull up all the way, halfway, a quarter, a third. All of us here have to do full jugs, no exceptions. And basically you fill it up. The point is to keep up like this and to empty the jug, all the water comes out of it. As soon as you're done, you need to pull it back up, depending on the drill we're doing. But it is great for leg strength and endurance in the water. All right, now it's time for me to score on Zach. I'm feeling a shutout. It's Nothing game gets time. <laughs> Another episode of On the Prowl, and We'd like to thank Grant, Lauren, Joey, and Dave for helping us out here in the pool. It was a lot of fun. Definitely the whole men's water polo team. We thank them for inviting us out to join in on their practice. So again, we appreciate you guys tuning in to On the Prowl. Make sure to check us out on the website. That's PacificTigers.com. You can get all the latest up-to-date information about our athletes and the sports going on around campus. Also, check us out on Facebook at On the Prowl's Facebook page. For Zach and Angie, we're out of here. We're going to go keep practicing this thing. It's tougher than it looks. Bye!